So I'm at Highlands Ridge Park here in Chester, and I'm gonna check out something really cool today. This spot was used in the 1920s by AT&T as a testing ground for their telephone poles. It's often referred to as the telephone pole farm. So I'm gonna go check it out. All right, so here we go. Look at all these poles. I guess the idea behind this was just to leave them out in the elements and just see how they all get weathered, which ones work the best. I don't know how many different types of telephone poles you can really make. It looks like there's a lot of them out here. This one has an old birdhouse on it. Really kind of strange how they have them all just in rows like this. Looks like they have these all bound together. Not really sure what this is for. Looks like maybe they're trying out the ties. This one has some sort of a uh, strange cube on top of it and it's covered in lichen. And you can see on them, they all have different numbers and they all have this, this panel that says, test pole, do not disturb. Just rows and rows and rows of them. And you can see on these, the, um, the little number panels are really old and weathered. I mean, I think this is pretty cool that all these poles are still out here. It's been sitting here since the 20s. Hope other people think this is as cool as I do. <laughs> this one, the top is all flared out. So all these look like they're made out of pine. This one has some sort of blue disc on it. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. All right, so that's the telephone pole farm in Chester. I mean, I think it's pretty cool. I hope you did too. Uh, my name is Ray and thank you for watching my video.